Hello everyone. So today I'm going to go ahead and make these bricks a little bit more like I want them for my game. Um, and that actually uh, may not translate well into what you want for your game. You may end up wanting very, very different uh, terrain. And one of the things I'm going to be doing, the thing I'm going to, be going to be doing in this episode, is I'm going to be squashing all this land down because I want every one of these layers to be less than half the height. Um, so I want to have flat, wide bricks. So that's what I'm going to do. The way we start is over here in World, we add ourselves public float brick height. And we'll just set it to 1 for now. Over here in Chunk, we need to be able to reference that. So let's go ahead and copy one of these guys and change it over <coughs> so it does what we need it to do, which is get the brick height. All right, now that didn't accomplish anything, but it's going to. Because what we need to do is we need to multiply a lot of these y values by the brick height. That starts with build face. Let's go ahead and squash all of these down. We want to put the y multipliers as close to the end of the process as possible so that we don't have to do it 8 billion times. Um, so the things we have to modify here are corner.y times equals brick height. We also need up.y times equals brick height and right.y times equals brick height. Now if we hit play, we'll find that that's the same because right now we're multiplying that height by 1, so our vertexes are all in the same place. Um, recently I got some annoyed uh, uh, customer who came by and told me that the correct word was vertices. Um, that's correct. The correct word is vertices and the correct word is stupid. Uh, plurals Special case plurals are a blight on the English language, and especially for programmers, many of whom are foreign, um, and all of whom should prefer standardized algorithms. Standardized pluralization should therefore be obvious. It's really stupid to uh, to use the word vertices. Well, I won't say it's really stupid for an individual to use vertices, because that's what we're taught, but it's really stupid for an industry to use the term vertices. It's a special case, basically a mathematics pun that got out of control. And uh, obviously, I don't like that very much. So I was snippy with him for several reasons, and that's one of them. Um, but I don't like the term vertices, and I c plan to keep continuing to use the term vertexes, or if I remember, I will shorten it to verts to distance ourselves from the mathematics uh, foundation that they came from. Anyhow, as you can see, I squashed them flat. but. This isn't quite right. I've been trying to, while rambling on about that, find a break in the meshes. Um, the issue is that while this is this squashed the meshes correctly, it doesn't take into account the change in the world coordinates, <coughs> which means that we should have gaps between these meshes where they are requesting the wrong thing, but I don't happen to see any. Oh, I bet if I go beneath, I can see him. No? Hmm. Hmm. There should be a bug here. I mean, this should be a situation where all of the connections between the meshes are broken. But it actually turns out that we don't need to worry about that. Um, the reason for this is that all of our coordinates are in this crazy stretched world space. So we take world space coordinates and then at the last second we squash them down by a factor of whatever we tell it to squash down by. As long as we never ever worry about it, those squash that squashing down will always happen perfectly transparently. The times we're gonna have to worry about it, later on when we do which brick did you collide with, we're gonna have to worry about it then. But for now, that works as it is. Let's go ahead and squash these bricks down to point two. Uh, bam! All right. So you can see that this is a very flat, rolling terrain, which is uh, basically what I was trying to get. The big thing I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pump up the uh, the chunk height, but I need to be careful because the the uh, calculations that I'm using are sufficiently um, uh, chunky that we're already getting cliffs. 
So as I raise the chunk height, the cliffs will become worse and worse and worse. But that's okay. All right, so this is the first half of me translating the mesh into the way I want it to look. The second half is going to be me making it curved. Uh, it's going to end up probably looking a little bit like Goddess, if you've played that recently. Um, when it comes to the game design, they're not going to be even vaguely similar, but the landscaping might be a little bit familiar. We'll find out. That should be next episode. And uh, I'm doing all of this now because I want it to be in place when we start to consider clicking on things. Um, I don't want to have to retrofit all of our world space clicking and collisions later on. But as you can see, this terrain is quite interesting. And uh, if you wanted to do the same kind of terrain, you are welcome to. And if you wanted to make it so your terrain is like columnar and everything is tall, you're welcome to do that too. So this episode was hopefully short and sweet, and uh, aside from my ranting about vertexes, um, should have been very easy to understand. Uh, still got some floating errors, but that's okay. <laughs>